Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a Victorinox again, of course, we have in that standard silver box of theirs. Lovely, nicely presented, which is changing or changed already. It's going to have a cardboard back um, backing with a plastic blister on it. We're depicting a nice scene, and so that's going to be nice. Okay, haven't got one yet. And there you go, a new Victorinox is born. <laughs> in case you're new to my channel or you've never had a Victorinox before, it is possible. This is what you get, guys. You get the obviously carrying instructions. Just pop this puppy out here. There you go. How to open up a can and a list of tools are okay. Flip her over. And of course, you've got knife maintenance, cleaning, oiling, which you do with any knife, and your basic instructions, okay? And there she is. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> that deep dark red. That just which said I just I don't know it's one of my favourite reds in the world ever. I think what it is, guys. I think what it is. It's like you're about to have I don't know um, apple pie and custard, and you can you can taste it before you even put it in your mouth. Okay, it's like that. It's how it makes you feel, and that's what Victorinox does to me. It puts a smile in my face, and it just warms my heart. I'm I'm, I'm I know I'm getting a bit soppy here, but I'm being honest with you because. It resonates with my childhood, I guess, since we all, most of us had our first one back then, right? Just, and if you haven't, never had one before, you're in for a treat, people. Right, anyway, so let's cut to it. So, blade centering is bang on down the middle, as it usually is. Uh, slightly offset, of course, but it's down the middle in the regard. It's in between that spacer right there. Okay, it's so the original multi-tool, guys. Nice stick action, a good positive lock-up. Lovely. And there you go, guys. Welcome to the Victorinox Walker. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> Just gorgeous. So, um, yeah, that lovely classic spear point of theirs, which Victorinox do, obviously, have done for many years, 125 years now, more or less, yeah. Nice bit of belly on her. So just for all your EDC, great general purpose blade. Just is no blade wrap or blade rub. I'm just checking anyway. I do anyway with every knife I get. Just can't help it. <laughs> nice flat grinds, of course, classic. So you're going to get, it's just going to be a super slicer. Um, no blade play. I've got four full fingers. I've got big hands, guys, size nine and a half. Nine and a half. Those who watch my channel know that. If you, In case you don't know, this is what happens, guys. Underneath the kick, nice and comfortable. This is an 84 millimeter. So 91 is even more comfortable for me. But this is comfortable enough. You know, I can use this in the field. That's why I got it. It's for my purpose. Okay, when I'm out and about. So um, I've got this, as you will see, for a good reason. For Not just for the knife, of course. We've got here also, you've got... There you go. Easy to read it there. On the front of the tang, you've got, of course, the classic Victorinox Swiss made stainless. And on the back of the tang, of course, you've got Officer Swiss. Lovely, lovely snaps, sir. Right, just oh, I don't, I do not tire of that. Oh, I love a good snap, guys. You know, I love a good snap, anyway. The steel on this is X55 Chromo 14. Now, it is a cheap steel, admittedly, but because of the process they use in the factory, and they're not going to tell you what that pro the public what the process is exactly, um, just generally speaking, but the heat, the way they uh, treat it the heat treatment and everything else turns it into a half decent budget still so it's very easy to maintain quite easy to get an edge on it um okay we can sharp edge on this if you want to all right and it's uh, we should do most edc tasks every day right okay or last year a day if you're using it for basic stuff or two depending what you're going to do and then just strop it um nice mirror finish which helps prevent rust of course okay just so nice now Sorry, guys. So she pulls a five and she breaks a five. That is that is universal with Victorinoxes, okay, in case you didn't know. Lovely snap to her, really gorgeous. You've got steel liners, of course, okay. And I've got, you've got the, yeah, just check this out. It's clean inside as well, which is always nice. Yeah, there you go, guys. So here we go. <laughs> just can't help it. So... That red Celidor um, scales are just, they're just classic. I love these. Um, you know, even though we know the house, the tweezers and the toothpick, it just, 
It's the color, guys. It's the color. I would love to see these come out in a G10 or a micarta, deep red micarta. Can you imagine that? Oh, yes, please. You know, just honestly, I think that'd be good. Really good. But anyway, it is what it is. It's more money, but maybe the premium range will come in the future. Who knows, guys? So this little puppy has got nine tools, guys. Okay. So obviously, we've got the main blade there, as we've talked about. Of course, we've got this one, this little puppy. It's a four-in-one combo tool. So we've got the screwdriver. There you go. All right. In a pinch, use it as a scraper, possible pry bar. You want to support that. For a little tin of 250 mil paint or something, you know, I wouldn't use it as a pry bar ID, but you know, if it's the only thing you had, possibly. Of course, you've got your cap, bottle opener, okay, but it's also a can opener, all right, and you've got your wire former and stripper as such, okay, so that's that. Then the main reason why I got this knife is because of this. Look at that. Is that not a thing of beauty? Guys, I've been a carpenter most of my life as some of you probably know if you've been following my channel okay so saws are fundamental to me <laughs> i've never been without a saw and this i've got because i wanted to compare and i know i think i'm going to prefer this okay uh nine out of ten all right but look at that saw just it's classic and it's super strong uh, for what it is little compact and super sharp of course you've got the tweezers and on the other side you've got the toothpick and the key ring, which is 10 mil split ring. Okay, they, they designate that as a tool. So that's your nine tools, all right? Actually, let's pop this out. Let's get this out here. Let's leave this out here. Now that's a lovely saw, I guarantee you. I can tell from the blade geometry, it's a good saw. Now the one I got a few months ago, which I reviewed two, three months ago, it's a lovely knife. It's a Mercury, it's an Italian knife, okay? Two, just two, it's got the main knife, two springs, there you go. Main knife and a saw. Lovely saw. Very well. It's a very good saw. However, I prefer this saw. Okay, I can tell already, or a push saw. This is more like a pull saw, like the Japanese pull saws. Okay. In the West, we use a push saw. Okay. I can use either either, it doesn't matter. It takes you know, you get used to it, but I prefer a push saw in the field. Okay, that's just me. All right. So I just thought I'll give you a it's a little bit longer. Yeah, I prefer a longer saw, but this is going to be better. Um, for me, okay, for what I want to do. So we'll put that back over there. That's the main reason why I got it. I would love wooden scales in this. Now that'd be great, wouldn't it? But there you go. That's why I got that Mercury. It's the wooden scales. And there's uh, another comparison. So we've got the uh, Huntsman, okay? So it's not much, that blade uh, there is not much bigger than this one, okay? All right, just for a comparison. And there you go. All right, you can see. So there's not much in it, guys, okay? This is a great little tool but the proof is in the pudding i'm going to test it in the field you know what i'm like and i will do that at some point um but i wanted to review it quickly before i get it all dirty and, and with some tree resin and tree bark on it and all that jazz okay so no hot spots as such of course it's victorian looks very good in the hand overall excellent fit and finish i've never had a problem with victorian looks guys ever <laughs> i mean ever right I've had about a hundred of them in my hand over the years, okay? Half, four, most of them are given away, to be fair. Um, I've only got about 10 left, but anyway, and a few new ones over the last year, okay? Um, is it sharp out of the box? Yes. It's a Victorian Ox, of course it is. There you go. <laughs> it, just, it just is. And here we go. Yeah, no problem at all, guys. No problem at all. Just got to get it right. There you go. All right. Cool. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely, guys. So let's get this out of the way as well. Boom. So what's the actual length for the... Hold on. What's the actual length for the actual blade? Now, I think it's about two and a half inches by the looks of it. Yeah, two and a half inches. About six and a half centimetres. Um, thickness of this is... It tapers from two mil. So here we go. If I go take it from there... Point zero nine. Hold on, start from here. One point, yeah, one point nine. Okay, got there, nearly. Okay, but if I go to inches, it's point zero seven of an inch. Okay, nearly. Okay, oh, just over. All right, so that's that. But it's a good. That's all you need for this size. It really is. Um, overall length is going to be. Let's have a look. 
one hold on one two three four five five inches in, five and three quarters of an inch okay um which is about 13 and a half centimeters okay close of course it's 84 mil we all know that don't we yeah uh, which is about three and three no three and three eighths of an inch okay uh the actual weight on this that's a good one do you know what i like to guess hmm it's not a lot uh 55 53 grams something like that. 45 grams or 1.6 ounces excellent excellent you're not going to feed it in your pocket hardly okay you're really not so what do I think of this? Now, for me, whether you're going carving timber, a little bit of whittling, you can, you can use these blades, um, you know. Um, I prefer other ones, but you can use these blades. I have done. Um, whether you're cutting logs in a, you know, for fire. So, for example, this is why I got it. Um, I'm going to use this because I'm going to be doing whittling, which I do occasionally, and I want to use this saw just to cut some branches and whatever and whittle away, okay, because I like this, these saws, all right? And it's light. It's just, you know, when you, you can carry it with you anywhere, you know. So whether you're cutting, you can cut logs with it as well, of course. If you're out and about with a friend or whatever, you're going fishing and you want to start a little fire, of course, you can cut some logs down and not just spark a fire, but you can actually get one going, keep it going. OK, so it's a compact little multitasker. Um, so have it your way around, rather. It's functional. It's well made, of course. It's lightweight. UK legal, obviously, exceptional value for money. Um, and of course, it makes for a, I highly recommend this knife, I really do. A uh, great gifting tool, like most Victorian oxes are, they're great that make great gifting tools for birthdays or special occasions, okay. Um, anniversaries, even if you've got a special one, limited edition, I suppose. But there you go, guys. What would I rate this? Well, of course, it's gonna be for what you're getting and what you're paying for this, it's five stars period end of <laughs> okay so for price and availability see the links below show your support by giving us a like and by hitting that subscribe button thanks for watching and i'll see you next time stay sharp